So what's up guys? Yo, what's yeah. up? What's up? Too much, too much values, man. <laughs> too much values. What are your, what are your values, Chris? No, mine. <laughs> like authenticity, adventure. The world is beautiful. You gotta explore it. Right? Thanks, John, for the great talk and getting me motivated for my values and and, uh, and sharing. And it's good for personal and for business, right? So. Absolutely. I mean, uh, I mean, thanks again uh, for some of the feedback. But uh, I think if you know what's most important to you, what you value the most, uh, that's going to make it a lot easier to, for you to make decisions, for you to run your business. But uh, probably the most important thing is getting happy. It's true. It's great. All right, I feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dana, we had the great experience to do this value uh, discovery exercise together yesterday where we, uh, we outline our top five values and, and uh, we listened to each other and, and you, you read back. Uh, yeah, we each read Elicited back. Elicited and then gave yeah, each other feedback and like cool read it to each other. And it was amazing because we really got to feel our own values yeah. by having it reflected back to us. It was so much fun. It was awesome. So thanks, thanks for that. Thank you. It was fantastic. See ya. See you later. Nice you to catch time. up. Good yeah. luck with your Good business. And Thanks. Stick to our values. Yep. <laughs> stick to the core values. Alright, Frederick, great to finally get him on the podcast from China in Portal. Thank you, Mike. Great to catch up here and uh, keep on rocking. Mm, thanks. Hey, Mariko, got to catch up. You're just back from the US, so I'm happy we got to meet before I left. And I know, we're finally in the same country at the same time. I know, it's been a while. So, we were talking, you got some exciting ideas for events in, the, in here in Saigon, and, and uh, I'm excited to hear more. Yes, check, uh, stay tuned to Global From Asia. There's gonna be a lot of exciting new events and projects and shows in the works. Definitely. Yeah. So I'm going to start off with my number one value that I wrote down was authority and it's not police, uh, I won't say that, but it's authority at least the way I see it is as uh, respect and, and uh, basically being a, a leader in uh, I guess what the blogging and the, and the content I'm creating is where I see the uh, authority. The second one I picked is influence, and that's something that might not have been on there for a while, but I think it's Gary Vee that got me excited. He's like, you don't just be a blogger, you don't just create content like for news or, or for media, but you try to create content that has uh, ability to take action, people to take action from what you're doing. And I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not doing that perfectly. I'm still, I'm still a student about influence, but I do like the idea and I've been focusing on that more is to create content and create things that gets people to take action. And then my third value is contribution. So similar to maybe authority or content, I just like this video, I really at least hope this is contributing to the world more through my blogs on Global From Asia or the podcasts or video interviews for education to uh, help people even when I'm not there or when uh, it sounds scary but if I'm dead, I keep thinking if I'm dead that I have a contribution to the world. So it's a very important value for me. And the fourth value is growth which it means, I, I was saying, if you're not growing, you're dying every day, even the smallest improvement is positive and you should be continually trying to make yourself better every single day and it's something I think people have 
noticed I'm like a robot lately, but I'm trying to improve every single day. And I hope you are too. And last but not least, my fifth value is knowledge. Because I believe knowledge should be accessible to anybody, anywhere. And they, the course is saying is knowledge is power. So I, I hope that the information I share and other people can read on the internet, no matter where they are in the world, if they want to learn and become a better person that they, they can. And I, I think that's what's really changed the world a lot in the last couple of decades. What are your values? I, I could try to list them on the blog or you could search some common values online. Thanks John and Dana and everybody I met this week and and uh, it's something I think in your subconscious and you go towards so I'm, and it makes you feel more defined as a person and motivated. Cheers.